All right, so my first question is, will there be panic can? <laughs> I know. By the way, first one, man. It's good. I expected everything. Could be. Yes, we're going to incorporate panty can on the ship, and uh, but this time it's just, just going to just hang. The hang time is going to be a little bit more. You know, we're going to go... <laughs> zero gravity. Yes. Uh -huh. We're going to go into the, into the zero gravity room to play panty can. There will be no panty can, but no. I'm sure there's going to be some wine. Some wine. We're, we're going to maintain or keep the booze element to the story. You have your own vineyard? Yes. You have to, right? I, mean, Me, I personally have my own vineyard on the ship, so I'm the captain. Right. You know, you know, I have perks, certain right? privileges, absolutely. Yeah. Why well, do you think I wanted that seat? So tell us about the captain. Uh, I play Captain William Denninger. He's the captain of Ascension, and uh, he's basically responsible for the 600 people on board and their survival. Um, not only for, from exterior like, elements, but from its in interior like elements as well. Um, basically just the leader of a small community. Um, he's a very strong-willed, confident, and competent person. He's also has a, uh, I wouldn't say a dark side, but he's a very conflicted and, and complicated man. With power comes a lot of responsibility and privilege. And there's, a, there's moments where you know, certain morals are coming to, are coming to question. Um, and that's revealed throughout, you know, throughout the episodes. What you see on the surface is not really what you see. And his true character comes out throughout. Uh, you know, really starts to unravel during three and four. Uh, um, but the, that's what drew me to play uh, this captain. Because it's not the dimension captain. It's not Captain Kirk. You know, there is a complicated side to this guy. Which is fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun, interesting to play. So your dad was a captain. My dad what? Your dad was a captain. No. No. My dad wasn't a captain. No. And then there's another interesting uh, dynamic of the show, which we, we haven't shot yet, and which I've only been told. But there's another interesting dynamic between my dad on the ship, um, my dad, I mean, on the show, uh, and myself, and the, the conflict that we have. But he wasn't a captain. I got here on my own, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so the captain and uh, Al's character, not good friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> Al. We now, Cal right Councilman now. Rose. Yeah. yeah, he's my nemesis on this show. He wants to dethrone me. Um, I believe he wants. He has. He has. He doesn't have good intentions for our our, our mission and, and the ship. I think. I believe that he wants to turn. Turn it around. Because once we're at the 50 year mark, and once we pass a certain point, in theory, we can't go home. So we, once we hit this one marker, we're, we're continuing on no matter what. There's a certain faction on the ship that wants to turn around, the Earthers. And I feel that he is uh, he is one of them, and, but he also is. Uh, we heard that's why he picked this show. <laughs> that, Hell yeah. That's uh, a direct quote. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I've known Al forever. Hello. Thanks so much. Yeah, he's a great actor. You know, I've known Al since I, one of my first acting classes here in LA. Uh, and he's, uh, he was one of the, uh, the, the veterans there. I always looked up to him. What a great actor. I'm so happy to be working with him today. This show is awesome. I've known him for years. Most times I was 20 something. I'm, I'm something else now. <laughs> but yeah, so he plays my nemesis and he's uh, perfectly cast. And, uh, and he wants it pretty much to wants, wants to be me. He wants to take my life and wants to take my, my captain's seat. Um, so the captain seems committed to the mission then. There's this Correct. faction that, that wants the Earthers and wants to turn around. What's, what motivates him to do that? I mean, is it, is it something... The, the Earthers or the cat? Uh, the cat. Something passed down from his parents down? Yeah, there's just, some loyalty to uh, and commitment and honor in going forward. And that's a great question because I'm also conflicted because my legacy is going to be... It's in question because there's a line in there that I say because I probably I was born on the ship and I'll die on it. I won't ever probably make it to Proxima. So I, you know, I feel that the, the the captain that launches the ship and that lands the ship will be remembered. The guy in the middle pretty much will be forgotten. So, and that's an interesting point to play because then why would I care so much to continue on? What's my what's my what's my my purpose? But my purpose is you know that's it. I have the commitment. He's very committed to the mission. Um, 
So you say he's a very strong willed person. He's also in, 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 internally he's conflicted over that, his, his legacy. And that's what allows him to do certain things and make certain uh, immoral decisions and behavior, um, which gets juicy. <laughs> Um, what type of immorality? Uh, uh, just, you know, cheating and checkers and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, Captain Steph. Yeah, you know, I, I cheated in poker. Uh, there's just, you know, it's you know, it's very Shakespearean too. Uh, just and Game, Game of Thrones, you know, however you want to say it. With the different factions and rivals and kind of you know, betrayal and whatnot. It gets, you know, it gets, it gets juicy. It's very interesting. Coming from Philip's brain, you can see why. If you ever have an opportunity to talk to Philip, you will. Um, he's an incredible, incredibly smart, intelligent, well read, full of this knowledge. And he's got an answer for everything. Uh, fascinating man. He's got this very interesting brain. He's got this exciting. Does, does William trust his wife, or does he know she's no? <laughs> so he knows that she's got a. He doesn't. He 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 feels he knows something's not right. He, he's insecure. One of his vulnerabilities, and I just discovered this in a scene that I shot with her the other day. I didn't plan on this, but I just felt there's a vulnerable side to this captain that I just literally discovered on set the other day that I wanted to incorporate, which I think works for the character. Um, and I think deep down, if he wanted it. You know, I think he feels responsible for setting his marriage off on the, on, on the wrong path because there's another scene in information that's revealed that you know I, she was originally uh, really into the marriage and in love, and you know, I really wasn't. It was like what you're saying. I was all about the mission. I didn't really want to be distracted by marriage and what that what that meant. Um, and then later on, he actually feels like realizes that he, he may have messed up and feels responsible for that. But he does he does feel. Um, vulnerable and insecure about her being with, you know, having an affair. Yeah. 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 Did you guys get married because you came up in the lottery to have children? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How many kids you guys have? We don't have any. <laughs> and then we were told not to, so that's another thing that I'm like, well, why not? <laughs> with the look, I mean, come on, the two of us should be cat. I mean, why wouldn't we have kids? But that's up to Phil. That may change. But as of now, we're not, we're not, we don't have any kids. So will there be off-ship missions, or is it all is all the action on the ship? Um, we all the yeah, there there will be for the store for the audience. Yes, uh, not for us though. Uh, we're on the ship, but the, it goes. It has. I'll let Philip talk more about this. But you do go back to Earth and you talk about the project. Um, the people that started it and, and the people that are now taking it over. This top secret project. You do deal with people on Earth discussing the, 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 our mission, for sure. Flashbacks? Uh, they, they will, there's flashbacks as well, but, that, they're, they're, but these aren't flashbacks. This is real time. But you do have flashbacks. You see certain, uh, you know, our childhood. Not necessarily my character, but you do have flashbacks. It will help tell the story, too. Were you happy for the six episode? season so you just take a break from the cougar town and I would, well, slip into this yeah i like to work you know i like to do different things and this is a, a definite departure for sure um and a little out of my comfort zone to be honest with you but i'm, I'm finding it and it's been it's still and, um, and it's good but uh yeah who knows if it's going to go for six yeah it's a six episode uh, mini series the potential to go further um, and knowing Phil's brain and, and hearing you know, where, where, where it could go, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if it was picked up from there. So what do you find are the challenges doing dramatic work versus uh, the comedy? Man, it's, um, sometimes it's hard, you know, when you're doing a drama and stuff, and, you know, it's, you feel like you don't know, you feel fake and you feel silly taking yourself so seriously in a comedy you're just making fun of yourself I mean, it's, I'm fine doing that you know being a goofball and just you know I don't care I don't, I don't have an ego that really but drama is a little different and, um, and it took me a second to get back into the groove of it you know and I'm on the bridge as well um, and it's definitely a departure from from Cougar Town, but not as not as serious. That character's still similar to Bobby Cobb, you know. Uh, and so I really had to just do some work and focus on playing Captain Denninger and really getting grounded and you know, dead shifting gears. I wish I could tell you exactly how I did that, but uh, I'm finding it as I go too. I'm just discovering, you know, I'm learning as I go along.
All right. Yeah. And it's fun. I get to work with these beautiful people. Thank you guys. Thank you. Space. Space. Thank you.